what happens after you get a COVID-19 test. The samples collected from nose swabs are sent to Ontario's labs. We're about to take you inside this Life Labs facility and give you an exclusive look at how they're winning the fight against the backlog and debunk any myths about the accuracy of tests. Access inside one of Ontario's labs meant taking every safety precaution to maintain the integrity of the meticulous process. After suiting up, we were given a step-by-step -step guided tour from the moment a sample arrives to when the COVID-19 results are posted. We receive samples on and off all day, so they're consistently coming in. The samples are delivered from testing centres across Ontario. This Life Labs facility in Etobicoke has significantly ramped up, from processing just 94 samples a day at the start of the pandemic to 4,000 a day today. So samples come into this room, we unpack them, and we inactivate them first. Right off the bat, the samples are placed into an incubator for half an hour to deactivate the virus so that employees aren't exposed. Next, patient information is recorded before the analysis can begin. Now we've got samples that are ready to be plated. So we've got Jennifer in the hood here. Jennifer is preparing the samples for the extractors. We've got a series of four extractors set up. These robots have a special task. They separate the virus from the samples. This used to be done manually, but these machines can extract the virus from 200 samples in an hour and a half. The samples are then placed into a second robot that makes several copies of the extracted virus in order to see it by eye. So even if the viral load is low, lab technologists can detect and analyze even tiny amounts of the virus with fluorescent dyes. One of the analyzers that we use, so the plate would be loaded in here. This is in real time. These curves here show us that we've got positive detectable virus in the samples. Using state-of-the-art technology, they've managed to successfully clear the testing backlog here. They've also doubled their workforce and shifted to a 24-7 operation. It's been a ride, definitely. I think the biggest thing is we work as a team and you have to work as a team to be able to get through these sorts of volumes that we do. As for the accuracy of the process, the tests are designed to specifically detect the COVID-19 virus. When you're looking at a molecular test and you're looking at something that um, you know, gets down to the nucle nucleic acid, we can make those tests very specific. And any positive result would not reflect other bacterial infections or other coronaviruses like the common cold. And the thing about coronavirus um, that we're looking at now, there are regions that are very um, distinct and very different from other viruses. In general, we have very, very few um, false positives. With new equipment and additional recruits, the lab supervisor here says their goal is to ramp up even further, doubling their capacity to process 8,000 tests a day. Across Ontario, the government's goal is still to reach 50,000 tests a day. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.